I have to say, it's really impressive that despite how far you've come in your career, you're still going back and making the independent films that gave you your start. I think the reason I'm sort of still making these kind of, you know, smaller character-driven, you know, comedy dramas is, you know, my filmmaking hero was always Woody Allen. And that's the only career that I ever wanted. And even when I got out of Sundance with Brothers McMullen and, you know, you have your moment and uh, arguably I could have done anything I wanted to do next, um, I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to continue sort of making, you know, smaller films. So I felt, you know, if I can continue to do this, and while it is, I mean, it's very hard to get these movies made, mm -hmm. um, as long as I can continue to do it and pay my mortgage, I will, <laughs> I'll keep at it. That's great. You know, I've seen, there are so many Christmas movies, but I've never seen one deal so directly with forgiveness as your film does. What made you decide to approach the holidays from that angle? I was trying to think about, um, you know, when I stumbled upon the idea that, uh, originally when I was writing the screenplay, I was starting with just, I wanted to tell a story of, um, you know, a large Irish American family, you know, I had these seven siblings. And then I thought, well, what's the device I can use to get them all together under one roof? And I stumbled upon Christmas. And the minute I hit that, I knew, all right, this film has to be about the importance of family. It's got to be about, uh, and, and within any family, there's always dysfunction, there's mm -hmm. always infighting. Um, so it's got to, it's got to take a look at forgiveness. And, you know, in the holidays, when we all get together, a lot of things come to a head, the good and the bad. But at the end of the day, you know, your family is really, you know, who you're got and who you're stuck with. And is there anything more important than those ties? So obviously you're a student of film, as you've been saying, and while watching your new film, I noticed that throughout, but especially in your speech in the car with Connie, uh, you know, I saw shades of It's a Wonderful Life. Did that influence you at all? I mean, absolutely. With, uh, when I was, you know, let's say halfway through the screenplay, mm -hmm. um, I had to make a decision. Am I going to make a lighter, fun, more romantic Christmas film, which I very easily could have done with this family? Or did I want to make something that felt a, a little bit more dramatic? And did I want to make something like my favorite Christmas film of all time, It's a Wonderful Life? And the great thing about It's a Wonderful Life is, you know, the ending. Everyone loves the ending. It's hard not to cry with Jimmy Stewart in that final scene. But in order for you to uh, earn that, you know, the reason we cry is because we covered some really tough, rocky ground to get mm -hmm. there. And I thought, well, I, I want to try and accomplish the same thing. So last question. Uh, a lot of big independent films with big names like yours are now doing a simultaneous release, both theatrical and video on demand. How do you think technology is changing the business, especially because you said it's so hard to get these films made? Yeah. You know, from a production standpoint, the, the digital cameras and the fact that you can edit your films now at home on a laptop has been a game changer, uh, especially for kids coming out of film school and young filmmakers. Uh, there's a handful of us who, uh, you know, let's say more established independent filmmakers mm -hmm. who are also embracing those micro-budgeted filmmaking techniques. So that's been great. On the distribution side, it has been a complete game changer because to release a film theatrically in any significant way is so expensive that you are almost guaranteed that you're going to lose money on your theatrical. Some people will argue that, well, the publicity that you'll generate from that theatrical will help all your other revenue streams. Mm -hmm. For the little movies like ours, we can't gamble on that loss. And the fact that now you can distribute your, your film digitally through iTunes, Amazon, and VOD through all your cable providers has, I, I can only speak to me and my experiences with my last three films, it's kept me in business. You know, we're finally making money for the first time since Brothers McMullen. Wow. And that's pretty incredible. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. Thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that.